and click. Here we go. Okay. Can I see over my shoulder there what's happening? There we are. All right. Okay, here we are. Hi there. How you doing? Dr. Kev here. Quick video on how we hold our guitar pick because obviously this is a hugely important thing, especially for beginners because they get it so frequently wrong. Of course, how could they do anything but they're still beginners and nobody's taught them the right way to do it. But there is, I believe, a right way to hold a guitar pick that makes our life easier when we're learning the guitar. I'm going to show you what I teach to my students, okay? Now, I spent a long time getting this video set up the way it is, over my shoulder-ish sort of Dr. Kev's eye view, so I hope I've got this right. I hope the camera does the focus. If it moves in and out of focus a little bit, I think we'll be okay, but bear with me. I'm also going to use this big guitar pick. This is actually a standard guitar pick. This is the first thing I want to talk to you about. This is um, the most common shape of guitar pick out there. Uh, this is the one most people will use or start with at some point in their guitar playing life. Personally, I like to use different ones. I use these little tiny teardrop picks. There's no right or wrong answer, okay? Use whatever works for you. They come in different sizes, they come in different shapes, they come in different materials, they come in different thicknesses. Anything is good, provided the sounds that you get from your guitar work for you and you're happy with it, that's good enough, okay? It doesn't matter what style of music you play, whatever you like is what you should use. How you hold it, however, is something else. Now, the first thing I want to point out is that when beginners come to me, they're usually holding the guitar pick, something like this. And why wouldn't they? It's the obvious thing to do, really. It must be the obvious thing to do. It's what everybody does when they come to me as beginners. <laughs> so, but we have a problem here. And the problem is this. See how much this guitar pick moves. Okay, it's like a loose tooth. That makes it really difficult to control the guitar pick. And if we can't control the guitar pick, we can't act, we can't adequately control the sounds we're getting out of the guitar. And you can see that string resistance alone is enough to make that guitar pick move an awful lot. So this is something we want to get away from. So what's the right way? There are lots of variations, of course. If you look at all the professional guitar players, all the famous top guitar heroes, you'll see differences of how they hold a guitar pick. Some, in fact, do something very not far from that, actually. Two fingers and a two fingers and a thumb. But if we take a look at a large number of great guitar players, have a look on YouTube, it's a great resource, of course. We see one thing in common with most of them, and that's the way I teach my, te my students. And that one thing is that their thumb stays flat to the guitar strings. No matter how else they may be holding the guitar pick, their thumb always is in this position. If you imagine a sort of imaginary sheet of paper that sits on top of the guitar strings, their thumb would always be writing that sheet of paper, okay? That's what we want to do. And that immediately tells us how our guitar pick should be held in relation to our hand. The guitar pick has to point downwards, the thumb is pointing sideways. So they have to be at right angles to each other, okay? And that's where we start. You start with your thumb, the pick goes in behind it, we're talking about this part of the thumb, the meat of the thumb, so to speak, okay? That goes in there, and the index finger curls underneath. All right? Now, the first time you try that, it's going to feel awkward. You're not going to like it. Your brain is used to the old way of doing things, even if that old way was absolutely awful. So you have to kind of tell that part of your brain, shut up, we're going to work with this for a while, and we're going to allow it to become comfortable. It's going to take a little time, but we will get there, okay? That's the way we want to do it. Remember what I said about how far out the guitar pick is? Don't do that. We don't want this moving around like that. Keep the tip in pretty close to your thumb. In fact, in my case, with the little guitar picks that I use, this back part of my finger here often rubs on the strings. It can get a little bit raw, especially when I'm playing mandolin. But it doesn't affect the sound I get out of the guitar, so it's not a problem. If you find that this part of your finger, or your thumb, or your fingernail or something is riding on the guitar strings, if it doesn't affect the sound, don't worry about it too much, okay? All right. Thumb, guitar pick, index finger, all right? Whether your index finger is up high like this, and your guitar pick goes up there, See, my index finger is almost pointing at the strings. That's one way of doing things. In fact, if I'm not playing with a guitar pick, that's what I do. So my fingernail becomes a new guitar pick. All right. So for some people, the index finger almost points out like that. They're sort of crossing. 
thumb and index finger. For some people, the index finger points backwards down the shaft of their thumb, like that. And for some people, the index finger curls right in underneath. Okay? All right. Whether you, these fingers curl in underneath the palm of your hand or whether they come out is entirely up to you. It makes no difference. For some people, when they naturally relax their hand muscles, their fingers either curl up or they come out. It really doesn't matter. It's, uh, don't worry about it one way or the other. Whatever works for you, whatever is comfortable is what you do. One of the great advantages of this position for the guitar pick, of course, is that I can use my guitar pick and my fingers in much the same way that I would use my thumb and fingers. Also notice that my guitar pick is at a slight angle to the strings. It's not flat on like this, it's at an angle like this, and that's totally normal because it's at right angles to the angle of my arm, which is coming in at an angle to the strings. The guitar pick also is not moving straight up and down on the strings too. Again, it's moving in an arc, a curved arc. And that means that your guitar pick is going to wear on this side from the upstrokes, and it's going to wear on this edge from the downstrokes. That's totally normal. That's what we expect with guitar picks. Okay, there you go. I hope you find this useful. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below or go to drkevguitar.com, send me an email. Keep your eyes open. There's a lot more videos I'm trying to get done over the summer. I took a little time off for the last year because my well, wife was busy with the uh, apartment move, baby marriage, all that wonderful stuff. Now I can get back to doing some videos again. Um, any ideas, again, send me a line, email, comment section, whatever you want. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Talk to you soon.